Bell's on their toes, sees the Cheaper by the Dozen crew all return, sans Frank. Lillian, played again by Myrna Loy, is struggling to make ends meet without her husband's income, while Anne, Martha, and even Ernestine find romance. Welcome back to my Cheaper by the Dozen review series. This is the only film in this franchise without the Cheaper by the Dozen name, though it's a sequel to the original 1950 film. It's directed by Henry Levin, who would later go on to direct a beloved adaptation of Journey to the Center of the Earth, and similar to the first film, this is once again based on a memoir of the same name by Frank Gilbreth Jr. and Ernestine. Taking place not too long after the sudden death of Frank, which was depicted at the end of the first film, this sees a very slight shift in tone from Cheaper by the Dozen. It can still be whimsical, charming, and amusing, with a vignette-like structure at times, though now that we're looking at the Gilbreths in the wake of a tragedy and struggling to make ends meet, this is a bit more serious than the first film, which only had one truly dramatic moment at the end. The Gilbreths' once picturesque life has been upended and without Frank, a lot of the family needs to pitch in more than ever. And it gives this a bit more weight, as we see the Gilbreths' struggle coming to terms with the fact that their lives will never be the same. It doesn't necessarily head into straight up somber territory, but the shift in tone at least gives some of the cast a little more to work with, with a lot of increased screen time for everyone from the first since that film was mostly all about Frank. And the film was wonderfully acted, with most of the cast getting their time to shine, though especially Myrna Loy, who tries to act as a guiding force for the rest of the Gilberts and steer everyone in the right direction. But while the charm's all there, I wouldn't say this is necessarily better than Cheaper by the Dozen. Similar to how the Gilberts feel the absence of Frank, we as the audience can feel the absence of Clifton Webb, whose exuberant energy carried much of the first film. When this tries to be humorous, the dated sitcom-style jokes, mainly consisting of some mischievous but harmless antics of the younger children, doesn't always land. And for the first part of the film, there wasn't always a clear sense of focus. Though when it began honing in on a lot of the romance subplots with the daughters, I thought that's where it really kicked things up in terms of quality. While a pervading theme of the entire movie is coming to grips with change, we see that come full circle as the older children realize, upon their blossom relationships, that growing up also means moving on from the comfortable life they were so used to and taking risks in order to do what they love. And the film's delicate approach to evoking these themes made for an emotionally resonant third act, leaving this in a much better spot than it began. I just wish that the first two acts had as strong of an emotional punch, as then I might have even called it an improvement over Cheaper by the Dozen. But I wound up liking this just about the same. So overall, Bells on Their Toes is a heartwarming film about growing up and moving on that still maintains much of the first film's charm. While the absence of Clifton and Webb is noticeable, Myrna Loy and the rest of the cast all carry their own, and its themes are expressed nicely, especially in its strong third act. It's sometimes amusing, other times sweet, and if you like films of this time period, and like the first film, this is worth checking out. Bells on Their Toes gets a 7 out of 10. So stay tuned, as up next we get to the Steve Martin films, with a review of 2003's Cheaper by the Dozen on the way. But in the meantime, let me know, did you see Bells on Their Toes, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you like it more than Cheaper by the Dozen? Less than it? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep having fun with film.